Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about how social media impacts us. Let's get going. Have you ever felt like you just cannot even? What I mean is have you ever felt like maybe you aren't able to do certain things because you don't have the skills? If you have, know you're not alone. I'm right there with you. This belief we hold about our own abilities is called self-concept. Self-concept can be changed and influenced by so many things. And I think that's what makes it so awesome. We can change what we believe about ourselves. Now, have you ever thought that your ability to do things influences your level of happiness and satisfaction? For example, does your belief that you can't ride a bike, I totally just made this up, make you feel upset? These feelings that we experience because of our evaluation of ourselves is what we call self-esteem. Self-esteem can make us feel good or bad about ourselves. But guess what the good news is here? We have the power to change this too. Okay, does anyone out there use social media even? Like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, Snapchat, the list seriously goes on forever. What I'm picturing right now is a bunch of eye rolls, like, come on Chelsea. Oh, hi, I'm Chelsea by the way. Of course we use social media, but we definitely don't use Facebook because that's what our parents use. Well, okay, yeah. I figured you used social media, but I thought I would ask anyways. Did you know that about 96% of youth in Canada use social media? That's a lot. And the things we use a lot, or are exposed to a lot, like our families, for example, influence how we develop and change. So all of this means that social media can really impact our self-esteem. You know those profiles we create online? Yes, those definitely influence our self-esteem. Lots of the time we are posting what we believe about ourselves or what we want other people to believe about us. We're kind of creating this second online identity. And okay, before you get ahead of yourselves, I'm absolutely not here to tell you that social media is bad. I think quite the opposite. I use it daily. But I'm here to provide you some strategies to help you when social media is hurting your self-concept or self-esteem and also to provide you with suggestions to make sure that you are doing everything you can to not hurt someone else's self-esteem when you're using social media. Social media is great. It allows us to keep in touch with long-distance family and friends. But don't be fooled. These interactions change how we view ourselves too, even if positively. Social media changes who we interact with sometimes and how we interact with them. It even influences the conversations we have and how we talk. I mean, don't you think? I DK what I'm talking about, lol. All these variables influence how and what we think about ourselves. Not only do our friends on these platforms influence how we view ourselves, but there are lots of things, including our friends, that can influence how we use these platforms. For example, our friends and where we live in the world might influence what platforms we are using. Like when I look at Facebook or Reddit, maybe I use Instagram. Isn't that crazy? And what platforms we're using and who we're using them with impacts our self-esteem. Lots of the time, we're talking to the same people online that we do in real life. So those things that happen between you and your friends or your family, like embarrassment and bullying and conflict, they can happen online too. So what can we do to deal with these things without hurting our self-esteem more and also our friends' self-esteem? Well, let's start with a few reminders for you when you're using these platforms. Remember, those people online, those are real people too, and they have real feelings. When you talk to people online, please reply with care and kindness. Also remember to only post things you're okay with other people seeing. Things on the internet live on, and you can't really take them back. And guess what? Consequences from your actions don't just exist on the internet. They exist in real life too. And remember, not everything online is real. Have you ever heard the saying, fake news? There's definitely fake news out there. Also, be mindful that you're comparing your real, everyday life to someone else's highlight reel. It's okay to share your good moments online, of course. But when you're scrolling, take a minute and remember that those are someone else's best moments. Please stop comparing them to your moments. Despite these reminders and strategies, we still might have hard days using social media. And that's okay, so give these strategies a try. Exercise. This is proven to help improve self-esteem and self-concept. It doesn't mean you have to go lift weights or go for a run. 
Do exercise that you enjoy. And then second, do something you really want to do. This should help improve your overall sense of worth. And if you still think you could use some more tips and tricks, check out these resources. This first link is an article that you can read with five tips and a TED Talk video if you're more of a video person to help with your self-esteem. The second link is from Psychology Today, and there's eight tips for helping with your self-esteem. Hopefully something in there helps you. And one last piece of wisdom before I leave you. My old basketball coach always told me to fake it till I make it. So let that serve as your reminder that even though people look like they have it together, online or in real life, some days they're probably faking it too. You're not alone. Now please go outside, enjoy the sunshine.